Hi and welcome back to another Sakura Succubus 4 video. Now, I'm excited to come back to this because it's been a bit. Now, I will say this is that I did have to take a break because of the last, <laughs> that last one really, really got me. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, nevertheless, let's get right back into it, shall we? Ten minutes later. Oh, this is actually brilliant. Look at everyone having fun! This is brilliant! Everyone's having a great time! And look at that! <laughs> look at Hazel being as energetic and competitive as always. Look at you! She's very strong, I give her that. She wasn't wrong what she said about it. Look at Cosmos just being cute. And then there's literally Lady Yu over there just being the utmost smuck. <laughs> I have ever seen. But yeah. <laughs> Let's get right back into it. Here we go! This is my AU AU Super Special Serve. Just try and hit it if you think you're strong enough. Ho 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 ho! Thud. Wow! The ball's going really high. It's being swallowed by the sky. I didn't know you could hit the ball that hard, are you? <laughs> I hate to admit it, but that is impressive. I thought this would be a cakewalk, but you're stronger than your luck. <laughs> That's what you get for underestimating me, Hazel. I'm not Japan's top idol for nothing. My job's way harder than you might think. I have to perform on stage for hours, and a lot of my dance routines are really complex. I train rigorously every day. My stamina's nothing but sneeze down. I won't go down without a fight. The ball's coming back down. Hazel, can you return it? It's coming in at a funny angle. And it's moving super quick. It's like a comet. This might be harder than I thought. But... I ain't thrown in the towel over something like this. <laughs> but Ooh! She's received it! She actually received it! Of course I did! I'm not about to let a hip squeak like AU get the better of me. Especially in front of you. I'll return all of your spikes no matter how nasty, even if it kills me. I'll eat the sand however many times it takes. All for the sake of receiving Lady Yu's thing. I can't afford to lose! My, my, you're awfully determined. I would have been content to play a nice, relaxing game. But you're pushing yourself too, so hard. I feel a bribe to go all out, too. Take this! Thud. Ah! The ball's coming back! What will do, a you? Don't panic, Cosmos. Let me take care of this. I'm more than just a pretty face, and I can give as good as it can get. Thud, smack, crack. Phew! I whistle, holding one hand to my forehead as I observe this very vigorous game of beach volleyball. Both sides are giving it everything they've got. Balls being smacked back and forth across the net with such velocity I can scarcely see it. Nothing more than the blur. I sometimes forget my partners are sucky by, but this scene has reminded me of an inexcusable truth. They're not ordinary humans. There's no way I'd be able to punt a volleyball with such force. I could have biceps fuller and firmer than boulders and it would make no difference. In contests of raw physical energy, we humans simply cannot hope. Nice return, Hazel. The ball's moving so fast, I can't see it. That's fine. I can deal with it. Mac! I don't think I've ever seen a you go this hard before. She doesn't seem to care for intense physical activity outside her performances. Her body is curvous, but slender. Her arms willowy, and she doesn't have much in the way of muscle mass, but she's killing it out there. 
and use something to behold, but Hazel's even more intense. She dashes from one side of the court to the other, kicking up sand in her wake. Her muscles ripple beneath her tan skin, and her ponytail screams behind her as she smacks, spikes, and serves the ball all over her head. Sorry, AU, but you'll have to do better than that. A cross shot ain't enough to stop me. I can see it coming from miles away. Urgh, that meathead is more formidable than her happy-go-lucky personality would suggest. I'll have to kick it up a notch. Go right ahead, don't hold back on me, you hear? I'm having so much fun. Oh yeah? You think this is fun? Why don't you try this on for size? Oh no, you don't. Smack. They're going at this so hard, I wouldn't be surprised if they burst that poor volleyball right open. This competition is incredible, but this is also kind of scary. I hope you and Hazel never turn on me as they have this volleyball. My life would no longer be worth living. Isn't it nice? Fumi slides up to me. Her lips curve into a motherly smile. Good to see you again. Still looking great. I'm glad they're getting along so well. It's nice to see you playing with the others. She doesn't get as much of a chance to let off steam, given her status. As her older cousin, I feel happy on her behalf. <laughs> oh yeah, same here, I guess. You rarely smiled in the suck of the throne. She spends so much of her time upon her throne, scowling while her subjects bow and break before her. She seems almost perpetually stressed and angry, save when she was with me. It is nice to see her in having such a good time. Take this! But that doesn't make her spike any less terrifying. I just had a thought. Perhaps a pair of us could team up and we could try and take Hazel and you on. I am not at athletically minded myself, I prefer gentle pursuits as uh, Kurta, but it might make for a nice change of pace. What do you think, Vicky? Um, I just mentioned earlier how, like, we're not as physically capable against them, but for some odd fucking reason, we're just doing this. Oh wow, we don't even... Sorry, Hifumi, but I'll have to pass. Uh, that game of beach volleyball looks pretty dangerous. If I get hurt now, I might be not even able to marry you, really. That's why I'm, I gotta look out for myself. Mary? Is this girl serious? Is she really acting like... Okay. Cheeks turned scarlet. Have you truly considered marrying me, Hiddy? The thought has crossed my mind from time to time. Pretty good advice. Misa soup is die for. Though, uh, not literally. I still have precisely zero desire to involve myself in that violent volleyball match despite Kafumi's field bling. Goodness me, that is awfully kind of you to say. Kafumi smiles, one hand pressed against it. I would be most pleased if such an event ever did come to pass. So, uh, Will, strained from insisting me joining my sisters. This may sound selfish, but I think I would rather have you kill myself. <laughs> oh, this bitch. 
Why are you making that face when they're right there? You play too many fucking games. Hey, you wind your own. Oh, sorry. I said, hey, you. Because you can tell I just got fucking blushed by the fact that she just said that. Oh, boy, I am just learning something very good today. Fumi winds her arm through mine, giggling to herself as she does so. Her face is flushed and her glasses are starting to steam up. I'm wondering what she's thinking about. Marrying my dear Hideki would be so wonderful. Truly, it sounds like a dream. I would love to walk down the aisle with you wearing white. Then, after our wedding, there will be a reception and after that, our first night together. Naturally, I'll be sure to wear the most expensive lingerie I have to meet my wedding. I would not want to disappoint you. <laughs> this girl is it. Remember how I said Hifumi is like one of the few ones that is very good at what she does? I love Marina, but fuck me, Hifumi is like damn near close between her and Marina. Like, oh, hold on. Give me a second. Holy fuck! It doesn't take a genius to figure out what thoughts are going through her head really doesn't. Tifumi might be an elegant, refined woman, but she has quite the loose side of her own, and must come with the territory being her. If I, I was able to take her mind off the volleyball death match, I feel like I dodged a bullet there. I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you want to new to the channel. It's been Zach, guys. Later.